Hey, fourth grade. This week we have two videos for grammar. The one that we're going to listen to right now is going to go through classifying the sentences on page 42. And then I will upload another video that's going to go through a lesson on past tense, present tense, and future tense verbs. So here's my suggestion for this week. Watch this video two times and the other video one time. I think once is enough for verb tenses, but I think to really feel comfortable with classifying the sentences that are on page 42, you're gonna need to watch this one twice. Now, if you feel very comfortable after the first time you have watched this and you don't feel like you need to watch it a second time, I'm okay with that. I trust your judgment. If you feel comfortable, then just watch it the one time. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and classify some sentences. I did wanna ask you, um, How's it going? How's um, your first full day or two or three or even your first whole week of um, homeschool going? I miss you guys and um, really look forward to actually getting to see you in person one day soon. All right, so let's get to the sentences on the board. I raised my camera up a little bit to get rid of this glare up here. I know you still have a little bit of a glare up at the top of your board. There really wasn't a whole lot I could do about that. Right now, I actually have a piano bench on top of my dining room table with books on top of it and the camera on top of that. I'm just trying to get that glare as much out of the picture as I can. That's really the best I can do. But this is the same setup, one through four, as you have on page 42. So if you can't see this real clearly, that's totally fine. Just look at yours in your book. And then the fifth sentence up here is not in your book, but there's no glare down here at the bottom, so that one should be fine. Again, just like last week, please don't write your answers in as we go through it together. Wait and do the, the, um, the test in your book on another day when you are not watching the video. So let's go ahead and look at the sentences. They are all, again, in pattern four. Let's read the first one. The beautiful mountains are my home. What are my home? Mountains. Subject, noun. What is being said about mountains? Mountains are, verb. Are what? Home. In this sentence, does home mean the same thing as mountains? Yes, it does. So home is a predicate noun. And are is what kind of verb? Correct, linking verb. Whose home? My home. Possessive, pronoun, adjective. What kind of mountains? Beautiful mountains, adjective. The article adjective. Subject noun, linking verb. Predicate noun, pattern four, check. Period, statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb. Com divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Are there any predicate parts in the complete subject? No, there are not. So we are finished with number one. If you need to pause the video and go back and watch that again to make sure you understand all your markings, you can do that. Let's look at number two. I think I'm going to switch to red here. I think it shows up a little bit better on my board. All right, number two. The men in our outfit were very good soldiers. Who were very good soldiers? Men. Subject noun. What is being said about men? Men were. Verb. Men were what? Soldiers. In this sentence, does soldiers mean the same thing as men? Yes, soldiers is a predicate noun. And were is a linking verb. What kind of soldiers? Good soldiers, adjective. How good? Very good. Now I want you to stop and think. Very modifies good, not soldiers. Since we're modifying an adjective, what kind of word is very? 
It is an adverb. Remember, an adverb modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. And in this case, it modifies good. In is a preposition. In what? Outfit. Object of the preposition. Whose outfit? Our outfit. Possessive pronoun adjective. The article adjective. Subject noun, linking verb. Predicate noun, pattern four, check. In our outfit, prepositional phrase. Period statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Are there any predicate parts in our subject? No, there are not. This is the first time we've had the word very. Did you catch that when it came up? Remember, when a word modifies an adjective, it is an adverb. Number three, that horse in the pasture is a gentle mare. Aubrey, the sentence is for you. Maybe it's about your horse. Who is a gentle mare? Horse, subject noun. What is being said about horse? Horse is, verb. Horse is what? Mare. Does mare mean the same thing as horse in this sentence? It does. So mare is a predicate noun and is is a linking verb. What kind of mare? Gentle mare, adjective, a article adjective, in preposition, in what? Posture, object of the preposition, the article adjective. Which mare, I'm sorry, which horse? That horse, adjective. Subject noun, linking verb, predicate noun, pattern four, check, in the pasture, prepositional phrase, period, statement, declarative sentence, go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Now you might be wondering, in the pasture, is that a predicate part in the subject? You could say that in the pasture modifies is a gentle mare, or you could say that it modifies horse. The correct answer is it modifies horse, so it is not a predicate part because in the pasture does not modify this section of the sentence. All right, let's go ahead and look at number four. All these people are volunteers from the city. Who are volunteers from the city? People, subject noun. What is being said about people? People are, verb. People are what? Volunteers. Does volunteers mean the same thing as people? Yes, volunteers, predicate noun, are, linking verb. From, preposition. From what? City. Object of the preposition. The article adjective. All, I'm sorry, which people? These people. Adjective. Which people? All people. Adjective. Subject noun, linking verb, predicate noun, pattern four, check. From the city, prepositional phrase, period statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. And the last one, this one is not in your book, so you're going to have to look up here at my board. My grandfather was a sailor 
in his younger years. Who was a sailor in his younger years? Grandfather. Subject, noun. What is being said about grandfather? Grandfather was. Verb. Grandfather was what? Sailor. In this sentence, does sailor mean the same thing as grandfather? Yes, it does. Sailor, predicate noun, was linking verb. A, article adjective. In, preposition. In what? Years, object of the preposition. Which years? Younger years, adjective. Whose years? His years, possessive pronoun adjective. Whose grandfather? My grandfather, possessive pronoun adjective. Subject noun, linking verb. Predicate noun, pattern four, check. In his younger years, prepositional phrase. Period statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Are there any predicate parts in my subject? No, there are not. All right, let's do a noun check. If you need to look at these for a minute, pause the video because I'm about to erase them. So if you wanna look at it, do it now. I'm gonna erase one and two and four and five, leaving sentence number three on my board. And we're gonna talk about the different words that are nouns in that sentence. So go ahead and look at number three in your book and think about while I'm erasing which words in sentence number three are nouns. Look at them and think. Are they common or proper? Are they singular or plural? What is their job in the sentence? Go ahead and think through that now so that you're ready. All right, are you ready? Look at number three. Oh, I didn't quite erase enough, did I? Left a little bit of number two right there. All right, now let's do it. That horse in the pasture is a gentle mare. Tell me one word in this sentence that is a noun. Well, the first one I see is horse. What is the job of horse in this sentence? Correct, it is the subject noun. Is it common or proper? It is common. And is it singular or plural? It is singular. I think that's the opposite of the, of the order we did them in. I'm gonna go ahead and change singular first and then common. I think that's the order we did them in last week. Look for another noun in this sentence. Find another noun. Pasture. Pasture is a noun. What is the job of the word pasture? Correct. It's the object of the preposition. Is pasture singular or plural? Singular. Common or proper? Common. All right, find one more noun. Have you spotted it yet? It's right here at the end, mayor. What is the job of the word mayor? It is a predicate noun. Is it singular or plural? It is singular. And is it common or proper? It is common. And that's it for today's grammar lesson. Have a great rest of your day. Love you guys.